welcome back to Wolfpack Football. And before I get started on this video, I do apologize for the windiness of this video. I'm going to try to talk a little bit louder. And if you do hear noise over there, I don't know if you heard that. I had to lock my dogs up so they weren't kind of walking around over here. But, so yeah, I apologize for the windiness, but I have to deal with the car that I'm dealt. And as of right now, the weather's a little bit windy. So, without any further ado, let's get started. So today, we're going to be doing my first, um, what do you call it? Uh, skill skills video, position skills, and today we're going to be doing linebacker. If you guys wonder why I just looked over there, my dog just made a scratching noise. But yeah, so let's get started. So those of you that want to play linebacker, you guys have to know what a linebacker stance is. And this is my personal linebacker stance. I like to go shoulder width, take half a step out on each one, and then squat down and have my hands like I'm ready to hit somebody. All right. This is going to be your basic linebacker stance. All right. So, if you guys want to, you guys can go a little bit wider or a little bit narrower. You can stand up a little bit more if you're a little bit shorter. But if you're tall enough, then it's definitely a lot better to go like this than it is like this. Because as you know, if you play football, sorry, it's a little bit windy right now. But if you play football, you know the lower, lower man wins. So, another thing with the linebacker stance, you have to make sure that you don't fall step. That was my dog barking, if you heard that. But a false step is when you're in your linebacker stance, when the offense snaps the ball, instead of going like that first, your first step is that, which is never a good thing. You never want a false step. One thing that I suggest to fix that is you lean forward onto your toes a little bit, not too far so you don't go like that and fall forward before the ball is snapped. And if you go too far, they can call an offsides or an encroachment penalty on you, which rarely ever happens at linebacker because you usually have three to five yards between you, but I have done it in practices before when they call us on a blitz and I'm up on the line. So what I would suggest is lean forward on your toes a little bit, make sure to keep your balance, and then when the ball snaps, you're pretty much already ready to go. Now I'm going to take you into some drills. All right, guys, so let's get started into our first drill. This first drill that we're going to start on works with your lateral movement across the backfield. Let me widen out these cones a little bit. I'm pretty sure that you guys can still see these. But yeah. So basically what you're gonna do with this lateral drill with this lateral movement drill is at linebacker there's a lot of reading reading the backfield. So you're gonna be set up in the linebacker stance and you're just basically just gonna shuffle back and forth while staying in your linebacker stance. Now one thing that I do suggest that I can't do right now because I don't have the amount of people to do this, is you have one person standing in front of you and they either have a football, <coughs> excuse me, they either, oh god, they either have a football or they're using their hands. So what they would do is they'd go like that with the football or that with their hands and you would have to go that direction and follow their movement. So what you're pretty much going to do is just line up in the linebacker stance and just go back and forth to their movement. Now I do have the cone set up. This is for if you were doing it by yourself like I did. If you wouldn't, if you were with somebody going, telling you go, which way to go, get rid of the cones, and just keep moving that direction until they tell you to stop. But let's get into our next drill. Hey guys, so let's get started into our second drill. So this one is going to work with rushing up to the line to stop the run, and then dropping back into pass coverage if that's what your defense tells you to do. In some cases, this is what my defense told you to do. But that depends on what coach you ask, which got confusing sometimes because some coaches were like, just fill the gap every single play. And some coaches are like, if you read pass, you make sure that you drop back. Which get confusing sometimes, but you just have to know which coach to listen to. So this one, as you can see, I have the cone set up in a W shape. So what you're going to do, you're going to start on one of the side top cones. Then what you're going to do from there is you're going to get set in linebacker stance. Make sure you do not fall step. This is a great drill to work on that. So what you're going to do is you're going to be set in your linebacker stance, run up, break down, Drop back, drop back, drop back till you see this cone. Make sure that you do not look down. Try to see it out of your peripheral vision. Because if you know, if you play football, if you look down for one second, you could get blindsided or hit by a fullback coming straight at you. So you're going to backpedal to this cone. When you see it, stop, run up to the next cone, break down, backpedal, backpedal, backpedal. One thing, I just messed up there. One thing that you do when you drop back to the sides, make sure you kind of turn this way. But when you turn that way at linebacker to drop back into a side coverage, you make sure that you turn your body like this, 
but then keep your shoulders square. So it's a lateral run like this, and then you're going to go until you either see the cone or know that you've passed it, and then take off sprinting like you were to chase down a receiver or something. You can also do this the same way to work on driving the pass on the outside. Get set, run, break down, back pedal, back pedal, back pedal. See the cone, sprint up, break down, back pedal, back pedal, back pedal. You're not back, a lateral run. My bad. All right, guys, so that's going to bring it in for this whole video. That's pretty much all it. Those are two of the major drills that we did that I really liked that I thought would be a lot of use to you guys. So, yeah. Thank you guys for joining me for our first skills video. This is linebacker. Um, one thing, these are my Nike Alpha cleats. You guys will probably see the review to these tomorrow, if not the next week. But yeah, these are the cutters gloves that I was using. Sorry, I'm out of breath right now because I was just working out and talking at the same time. These are the cutters gloves that you guys saw last week in the review. These are the cones that I'm using. They're Nike ones. If you guys want to see me review these, I will, but I mean, they're just cones, so... Yeah, so that's pretty much it, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.